Hello my friends, today we are going to edit one of these red finch photos into Luminar Neo but before I am going to start that I want to take this image through the denoise topaz denoise to remove the noise and then we will do our normal edit into Luminar Neo this image over here I shot it with my Sony A1 it was raining as you can see a couple of raindrops so the light was really not good at all for that I shot a 250 of a second handheld wide open at 6.3 with my 200 to 600 millimeter lens uh, zoomed in into 600 millimeter and as you see my ISO was 500 because I did not have enough light now let's take this image straight into topaz denoise and remove the noise for that I will go to photo edit in and then I will go to topaz denoise AI this is really the best program to remove noise without losing any quality on your image and uh, I will show you how easy it is I've been using Topaz uh, Denoise for years now and I don't use the auto mode I just use standard pretty much all the time and I found that putting remove noise and enhance sharpness at 15 both of them that works really well for about 99% of my images I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more so you can see how well it removes. If you look here, this is the before, you see the noise, and this is the after, before and after, before and after, and we're not losing any kind of details from the bird. So just with that, I will just click apply, and really is that easy. Just one click, noise is gone. Once this is processed, we will move into Luminar Neo and we'll do our normal editing. Great, Topaz Denoise, it's done processing. And now before I move on Luminar Neo, also I would like to crop my image. So I will go to my crop tool. I will keep my original ratio. And let's see, I am just going to put my bird in the middle, but then I'm gonna crop it even further until the eye is on the line of the rule of thirds. Something like this looks great to me. I will accept the change. Now we are ready to go into Luminar Neo. So I will go to Photo, Edit In, and then I will move to, let's see, Luminar Neo. Now we are in Luminar Neo and we will go to Edit and we'll start with the Develop. As you can see, this image is underexposed because I did not have a lot of good light. So I'm going to start with increasing the exposure, add just a little bit of contrast and open up the shadows all the way great that already looks better now i will go to black and white and i will increase the whites i don't want to increase them too much maybe this much but then i'll bring down the highlights just because i don't want to lose too much detail i don't want to lose detail at all i don't want to blow up my highlights so that is done and now i will open develop again and increase the exposure but this time I only want to apply this to the bird so I will go to my paint mask and I'm just going to paint it on the bird make sure I brighten it even more I don't want to go too close to the edges so I don't get halos or some weird stuff and this is our before and after the brightening before and after awesome what else do we want to do I want to bring in the eye a little bit more bring some life into it so I'll go back to develop I am going to increase the exposure just a little bit and increase the whites a little bit and bring down the blacks to create some contrast. And this time I will only paint this on the very eye, something like that. Now let's see, this is our before and after, before and after. That just brought in a little bit of life in there. Maybe even apply a little bit of sharpness to it. Something like that. Great. Let's see our edit so far. We started with this image and now we are here and I like that. We can add a little bit of enhance. Let's see, something like that looks good. That is the before and after, before and after. I like what it did to the bird, but I think this green on the top, it's too limey green, too fluorescent. So I'm going to erase this from the top part, something like that. And now this is our before and after, and that looks great. What else can we do? Um, 
I am going to, I don't really like this limey green. So I want to make it more of a tealy color because this red is kind of magenta red. Uh, it looks better with a darker green, almost, almost teal color. So how do we do that? You might think that we can just go into color and use HSL and shift the green towards cyan and then you know work with that but i'm i'm gonna show you why that doesn't work in this case i am under hue and if i take the greens to cyan i'll take the yellow stores the green and then i will go to desaturated like that and then maybe decrease the luminance of the greens you see what's happening? We're getting this kind of bending and we want to avoid that. So we could just do a little bit of the effect, but still, if you look really closely, we're still getting some of that bending. So I will use a different technique. Let's see. Maybe, maybe you'll learn something from this. I am going to go to my color and I am going to take the saturation down. I want, first of all, I want to remove that yellow kind of, you know, oversaturated green. So I'll desaturate it and then I will only paint this effect on the top part was where was the most saturated. So I will go like that. Maybe I'll even go on the bottom a little bit. And there you go. Now we kind of reduce some of that lime green. You see that was before and after, before and after. And now I want to add that cyan. And the way I will do that is by using a gradient. I made a gradient into Photoshop and I am going to add it. I'll go to load images and I have my gradient over here. It's kind of like a teal gradient. And now I have it into my images and double click on it will apply it to my image. There you go. If I increase the opacity to 100%, this is what it looks like. And let's see, I want to change the blend mode to overlay maybe. And I kind of like that. Maybe not so much on the bird. So what I am going to do, let's see, I'll put the opacity maybe to 31%. And then I am going to use an eraser, make the brush a little bit bigger and strength of 50%. I'm going to erase 50% of the effect kind of on the bird, the middle portion, maybe a little bit on the top branch over here. Just like that. And let's see our effect. This is before I added this layer and now is with the layer. So we're getting that blue cyan color. What if I want to darken it and intensify it? What can I do then? Well, I will apply it again. So I would load it the same image over here, the same gradient. I will load it again as a layer. And now you see this is the one before and this is the one now. So I have two layers of the same gradient. If I increase the opacity, you see it's the same gradient. And I'm going to change the mode this time because I want to darken the edges, almost like a color vignette. I will change it to multiply. So if I increase it to 100%, it's way too strong and too dark. But if I keep it around, I don't know, let's go with, let's go with 37. And now I can take my eraser and erase it again from my subject. This time I'll erase it at 100% because I don't want to darken the bird and this blending mode does darken things. So I'm just going to kind of erase it from the center, a little bit down, something like that. And now with this layer, this was before the multiply blending mode and this is with. Let's see our image from the beginning. This is our before and after before and after. And I think we went a long way. The blue might be a little bit oversaturated for most people's taste, but for this image, I would leave it like that for now. Um, okay, let's see, will I do anything else? I don't think so, I think I'm gonna leave it like this. So let's see again, this is our before and this is after, before, and after. Uh, spring has come here in Maine. It got warm outside. We started having hummingbirds and um, we'll start a new se series of um, 
backyard birding where we edit all kinds of wildlife from chipmunks to hummingbirds and all kinds of little birds and we will edit them in the future and all the programs i'm normally using we'll use lightroom we'll use affinity we'll use photoshop and of course luminar neon thank you so much for watching my name is skylar ewing i'll see you in my next video